Hey guys, here's how you can make a very quick and simple blueprint that contains multiple meshes that you can easily flip through and just select the mesh that you need. By the way, I will make the blueprints that I create today available for everyone for free. Just follow the link in the description and you can copy and paste the notes inside your own blueprint. But I suggest watching the video and following the steps yourself is better because you will have a better understanding how everything works. Just a short explanation on how this might be useful or how I use this. So I decided to add another layer of complexity to my game and in contrast to those circular mazes, I decided to add linear labyrinths as well. Um, those are basically pathways um, where the player can go through and go from one island to another. And because this will be a, a bigger part of level creation later on, I decided to make somewhat of a, a modular system where you can just grab one piece, copy it over and change it to uh, another mesh that you need um, and so you can easily and more quickly iterate through a certain pathway and change it uh, on the fly. Okay, let's start by creating a new blueprint. It's gonna be an actor and let's call it BP path because I already have a BP uh, pipe you can call it whatever you want and from this we're gonna create a child blueprint class and we're gonna save them and let's open the BP path and over here on the left we're gonna go to components and click on add and look for static mesh and let's call it piece or something Compile and save. And now we can just go to the construction script tab. Okay, now let's drag out of the construction script and search for set array lm like this. We're gonna compile and save. And it's gonna show an error because nothing is connected. Okay, the next thing we will have to do is to create a new variable. And we're gonna do this over here. Um, we just gonna call it um, new mesh and compile and save and of course we can um, change the type of the variable um, at the beginning when we create a variable but we can also change it over here let's um, look for static mesh and here it is and we're gonna create set it to object reference like this and also uh, it's important to set it to an array compile and save so now we have this variable with a static mesh array where we can basically put all of our meshes inside so we're gonna go and drag it out and we're gonna get it and you can already see over here we have this plus icon where we can just add as many meshes as we want I already prepared my meshes they are over here and let's just you know, close those tabs and now we can just simply drag and drop all the meshes that we wanted to have inside that's one too many and we're just gonna go over here and delete it now we can go ahead and connect the new mesh array to the set array LM target array and from the new mesh we're gonna drag out again and we're gonna search for get um, get a copy and this part which is gonna go ahead and promote it to variable and we're gonna call it let's call it just type and we're gonna expose it like this and the next step will be to drag out from the set array element and search for set static mesh and Un unreal already knows that we have uh, a component that um, that is called piece and it tells us to use it and we're just gonna click it and there it is um, otherwise you can just um, drag it out yourself and search for set static mesh like this and just connect it to the set array element 
and we're gonna connect the get node to the new mesh like this compile and save now when we switch over into our scene and trying to place the bp path child uh, blueprint actor um you will see that it doesn't show anything basically and how we can fix this is we're gonna look um, at the first index and we're gonna just take the the mesh that's in the first index and we're gonna drag and drop it into item i'm gonna compile and save and now you will see that it appears uh, over here in the scene as well and as you may already have noticed now we have this um type uh, value over here that we can control now it's set to zero we can set it to one and it's going to change the mesh we can set it to four it's going to be a different mesh and so on and so on uh, what we can also do is to control it um, with our mouse when we have this you know arrows to the left and right we can click in and drag to the right or drag to the left the only problem is when we drag too far off to the right when it's um starts to go over the number of the actual uh, meshes that we have uh, it will stop um, displaying any mesh and here's how we can fix it we're gonna go back over to our blueprint and go over to the type variable and over here we're gonna um, set a slider um, that can only go from zero to um, you know the index we have set over here so from 0 to 5 let's do that uh, slider range 0 and the maximum will gonna be 5 and value range as well 0 and over here the maximum is gonna be 5 compile and save and now we have a slider you can see it over there that it's not going to go over the maximum um, index that we set or under the, maxim the, the minimum index that we set. And um, yeah, basically just like that, we have a functioning uh, blueprint with multiple meshes inside that we can easily and quickly switch through with a simple slider. In the next part, I'm going to show you how to add rotation in 90 degree steps, just like that for more convenience. So yeah, that's it. I hope it was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments and uh, thank you for watching. Bye.